Hello everyone and welcome to Do-It-Yourself Ideas. Today's project involves drawing this beautiful cherry tree. This is a very Japanese style and I think it looks really cool, it calms me down just by looking at it. So I'm going to show you what you need and how to do it now. For our Japanese cherry tree we're going to need an empty bottle of water. We also need acrylic paint and I have red and white and I want to create pink so I'm going to mix them. We also have watercolors and I'm going to use the brown and the black to combine them and make a darker brown color. We need a brush, paper and a plate to mix the paint together. So first I'm going to start by mixing the brown and the black. So here it is, I mix brown and black and I'm going to start by drawing the tree. And I'm going to draw a little bit like this. And I'm going to set it aside for now. Then I'm going to grab the plate and I'm going to mix the paint. And we're going to use more white paint than red because we want to create a pink color and we're going to mix them together. And this color looks like a strawberry so I'm going to put more white because I want it to be lighter. So here it is, this is a much better tone. Now I'm going to grab the bottle and with the brush I'm going to paint the bottom of the bottle with the paint. I'm doing that so everything is covered in paint, all the bottom. And now we can also put the bottle in the paint. And we're going to stamp it in our drawing. And I realize that we need more paint, so I'm going to mix some more. Yeah, much better. And now I'm going to try it again. Now that we're done stamping, I'm gonna grab the brush and I'm gonna perfect the petals because I mean the, the bottle was really good to give us the perfect size and the spacing between each one but with the brush I'm just gonna make them more into a drop form, like a droplet and I'm gonna draw a small dot in the middle. This is much better and I like it way way better. So I'm going to fix all of them.
and our tree is almost finished. I'm gonna draw a little bit more petals falling. But yeah, as I said, the bottle gave the perfect spacing between them and the perfect size. So it was really good that we used the bottle even though the shape wasn't the one we wanted. But I'm gonna draw some more petals. And this is how our tree looks like. This is the finished product and I really like how it turned out. It looks very Japanese style, which I really really like. And even though the bottle didn't give the perfect shape to the leaves, I think it was a very good start and we could perfect it with the brush. And it was really well. I think it turned out amazing. I really like it. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below and I'll be happy to read them. Thank you for watching Do It Yourself Ideas. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free and be the first one to know when new videos are posted. Share this video with your friends and see you next time!